QuickBooks Online. Profit and loss, print, save as PDF, and create management report. Get ready to start moving on up with QuickBooks Online. We're going to be using the free QuickBooks Online test drive, searching in our online search engine for QuickBooks Online test drive, selecting the option that has Intuit.com and the URL Intuit being the owner of QuickBooks. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. We're going to be using the United States version of the software and verify that we're not a robot. Zooming in by holding down control up on the scroll wheel, currently at 125% on the zoom in, selecting the cog drop down. Just to note that we're in the accounted view as opposed to the business view. We'll try to toggle back and forth between the two views so you can see where things are located in each of them. Right click in the tab up top to duplicate it as we do every time. Right click in the duplicated tab to duplicate it again. As the tab to the right's thinking, we're gonna go to the tab to the middle and open up our reports. The reports being the balance sheet report. That's one of our staples, the standards, as that's thinking, even though it's done, I'm gonna tab to the right, reports on the left. And this time the profit loss, the P&L, the income statement, our point of focus for this presentation. Closing the hamburger, otherwise known as the ham boogie, and changing the ranging. 010122 tab, 123122 tab, run it to refresh it, tab to the left. Close up the boogie, scroll up, and change the range from 010122 tab, 123122 tab, run it to refresh it. That's the setup process we do every time. The major financial statement reports being the balance sheet, the income statement. Scrolling in a bit here. Going to go to the tab to the right. Our focus has been on the income statement. And now we're going to be thinking about how we can present, how can we package this information to provide it to end users, such as a client, possibly on a monthly basis, possibly on a quarterly basis or yearly basis. Now we went through some of the different options last time and customizing or saving those options to easily retrieve them so that you can, you can make the quarter end, year end, month end as easy and efficient as possible. Now we're going to focus more on exporting those data uh, and, and batching them, grouping them together. Our options. We can open each of those reports and email them. We can print them out and give them to someone if we have that option, although more stuff is being digital these days. We can save it as a PDF file and then try to provide it uh, on a cloud drive possibly so that they can have access to it that way, in which case we might want to number the files so they can have an ordering of them. We might try to use Excel, which we'll do in a future presentation, to package all the reports in one Excel file using that to create a PDF file. Or we might use their management tool over here on the left hand side. I'm going to go to the left reports and then they have a management tool over here to kind of group our reports together. Right now, we're going to use uh, save as a PDF. And then we'll also take a look at this management tool quickly because we saw it during the balance sheet side of things as well. And then next time we'll export to Excel and use that method. Either method we use, we're gonna have to have some customized reports here. Now, because I start over every time, we don't have any customized reports in our customized report center. So I'm gonna recreate the customized reports, but I'm only gonna do like three or four of them and do them quickly just so we can then see the next step which is to save this information and bundle it in some fashion. All right, so let's go to the income statement tab and let's just make a couple of these. So first time I'm going to I'm going to collapse. I'm just going to collapse everything. I'm going to I'm going to then uh, go into my customization up top, do the standard customization without sense, brackets on the on the negatives, red on the negatives, 
header footer. I'm going to call this an, an income statement. Let's call it a summary income statement. So this is my simplified income statement. And so there it is. No date, time, report, basis. Boom, run it. I was running. And then we're going to, let's save customization. I'm going to add a group. The group is going to be month and reports. And then I'm just going to say that's my number one summary income statement. This is what we've done in the prior presentation. So I'm doing it fairly quickly here. So we're going to save it. And there it is. So if I go to the first tab, refresh the first tab with the little refresher button in next to the URL reports down below. There it is. It has been saved. Let's just do like two more. So I'm going to go up top and this time let's expand it. And then let's do a comparison on a quarter by quarter comparison. So we'll do quarter by quarter comparison. Let's check out the quarters, run it, change the name up top. I'm going to say this is going to be a summary income statement. No, it's going to be a income statement. Let's say by quarter, by quarter. I should probably get rid of that date thing at the bottom because it's no longer applicable really. So I can customize it and I can go down to the header and footer and that date thing at the bottom report period. That's the one I'm talking about. You know, the thing that's the thing there it's gone now. And then I can, then we can save customization and make this number two, boom, income statement by quarter. Let's save one more just for our practice purposes here, doing a comparative income statement. Let's bring it back to the totals run it and let's do a last quarter comparison let's go from 10 uh 0122 boom and then i'm gonna compare we've done these in the past that's why i'm doing them quickly here i'm gonna say previous period percent change dollar change run it run it again you didn't run it okay there they did it that time so this is going to be a comparative income statement comparative income statement in by month or let's just call it that we'll just call it a comparative income because that's the only one we're going to do so i'll copy that one and let's say we're going to save customization this is number three number three boom save it so now we've got some reports saved next step we're imagining it's the end of the month and we're not going to generate them all again. We're just going to go into the customized reports here. I'm going to refresh this and then they're nice and numbered for us. So at the end of the period, I could just go in here and open them up and change the date range and then bundle them together. So I'm this time going to save them as a PDF file and imagine that we're going to provide them to someone possibly in a in a zipped file for an email or possibly using like a cloud drive so i can open each one of these simply change the date range up top and then i'm just going to print it drop down report export to a pdf and i've got my smart page breaks it's going to be portrait repeat page header that looks good let's save it as a pdf i'm in chrome so it's going to be populating down here I'm going to put that into my folder. I'm going to minimize. I got my folder right here. That's where I want it to go. Test drive reports. So I'm just going to add it to my reports folder and uh, let's go actually into here. And so I'm just going to add it into my reports where I had my income statement last time or my balance sheet stuff last time. And so now I'm going to add my income statement stuff. And so I'm just going to pull that stuff over. Boom. And then I'll, I'll rename it. Now notice I, I named it again. I probably should have named them. I should have started on number five. So let's actually rename these in here. I'll make this one edit number five, imagining that my balance sheet reports were in there. So this is number five. And then this is number six. Hold on a second. Edit. Number six after my balance sheet reports and then save and close one more time. This one is number seven. 
Boom. So now if I add them to my balance sheet reports that I had over here, this one I'm gonna make number seven. I'm gonna right click, rename number seven report. So now it's in, actually no, that's number, <laughs> rename, that's number five. It's gonna be in order, that's number five. Now it deleted the title entirely. Don't do that thing. Don't delete the title. I just want to change the number to number five. Okay, there it goes. All right, then I'm gonna do this one, same thing. I'll just go into here and then I could change the date range and just go if it was the end of the month and then just save it as a PDF, export it, I should say, and save it, boom. And then I'll pull that over into my folder where I want it to go, pull it over and then I'll rename it so I can put the number at number six, right click rename, don't delete the name, just add the six in front of it, okay? And then we can do it one more time, closing this out. I'm gonna go back and with number seven. So how easy it could be to go at the end of the month and just bundle this together, print them out and boom, save as a PDF. Look at that, it's a beautiful system. And now we could just do that nice and easy and hopefully there we go. And so then I'm going to right click on this one. And this is going to be number seven, number seven. See, and then once we have all these in a folder, we've got our balance sheet reports, we've got our income statement reports, we could provide this to a client now, either emailing it, but now we've got seven attachments, which is getting quite long. So we don't want just seven attachments on an email, we could zip the file, I could go back to the file here, I'm going to delete the prior zipped file, right click on the file and compress it, compress or zip it, zip it. And there it is. So, so that could be attached to an email. Now, if I go into this, we can also provide this on a cloud drive, like a OneDrive or something like that, or a Google drive, and they're numbered so that they can have some idea of what order they might want to open up the reports in. Now, our other options are to export these to Excel and then possibly use Excel to, to further, to put all of them in one report. We'll talk about how to do that next time with the help of the PDF printer. Our other option, I'm gonna go back, is to use this neat management report tool, which gives us that nice quick management report. I won't go into it in detail here because we saw it in the balance sheet side of things. But once you have your report set up, I might take my company overview. I might want to copy it. So I always have the original, you know, uh, format there. So I'm going to copy it over and then I'm going to edit it. I'm going to edit it. And so you've got your title page. You can add your logo. You can call it management report or something else. You can change the title page to something other than that one. You have a subtitle. So you've got a nice little intro. You can put your name here. And then on the second page, we can include a table of contents, which typically we would want to do. And that's just going to be our reports mainly in the table of contents thus far. You've got your intro page, might be the intro. This, and then you can give your blurb here's the month end report, month end reports, blah, blah, blah. Below, you can add your detail there, which is nice. And then we could go to the actual reports. Now, by default, they pull in a profit and loss report. Now, we looked at the balance sheet reports last time, so I don't want the default profit and loss. I want the ones that I've just customized. So I'm going to say, remove this one, add the ones that we put in there. We put in there the summary income statement. So I've got a summary income statement and then add, I had the, the number six report and then I'm going to add another one and then I've got num my number seven. So now I can put those in there. Now I need to change the name so it doesn't show up with this title. So I'm going to edit this one and then what I want in there is just, is just summary income statement. I think that'll work. Let's save it. 
and on this one I'm gonna edit this one I don't want the number in there on the title do not want the number on the title and then this one do not want the number on the title and and then the next page we have is an end note so we can say in conclusion end, and we can say thank you or our conclusion page so it's a nice little neat report we can save it we can check it out let's uh, print it to check it out and here's what it looks like so now you can get all this stuff on one page you get a title page and you get your table of contents and you get another intro page where you can give you a little blurb about the reports that you're going to have down below and then you've got your balance sheet which which we did last in prior section so that's not a custom one that's just the standard balance sheet and then your income statement so now you got your summary income statement but it's custom now and they've got this formatting that fits in here we got the income statement by quarter so and then we included our uh, comparative income statement and then our conclusion page so it's a nice little report you know you've got you've got a decent amount of flexibility to get everything on one page and add a nice little title page so we've got that option next time we'll export them to excel and we'll use excel to create a pdf with all of them on one report and note that if you if you get really fancy then you would probably be exporting them to excel and possibly using uh, excel and word to kind of integrate so that you can get a more complex and varied uh level of report so so then you can do more customization and whatnot within your your uh, reports that way and you can change things in excel if you want different formatting in excel for example although it gets a little bit more tedious to do because there are more you know you'd have to do that change every time as opposed to just kind of generating the automatic reports from uh, quickbooks so we'll take a look at exporting to excel and uh, creating a pdf with all the reports in one place that time and possibly adding some formatting within excel closing this out notice that uh, if i hit the the cog drop down and switch this to the business view we've really only been working in the reports once again so that's located over here in the business overview area and then in the reports